Hey guys, welcome back to our <laughs> channel. Why do you laugh at me? Um, welcome back to our channel, I should say, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Mina. And I'm Sasha. And we're the Sadik Sisters. So today we're going to be eating some sushi. And talking about some fuckboys. Today is all about fuckboys. So we thought that we would eat one of our favorite things while talking about these. Is this the only sauce it came with? Yeah. So should we explain what we have? Yeah. Okay. So on my side, we have, are these all steamed? Not really. Or are some of them fried? Oh, no, they're all steamed. Oh, no. Some of them are fried. Yeah, some of them are fried. Oh. So I got an, a mix of steamed and fried vegetable dumplings from this place called The Vegan Joint. And Mina made these really, really spicy fire noodles. Yeah, they're like, um, they're, they're vegan because the regular fire noodles I know are like chicken flavor, right? Yeah. So, yeah, these are vegan. They I got them at Ralph's. Just, mm. like, there's, like, a vegan section, and they were in there. They're made from wheat and soy. And, yeah, they're a little cold now because it kind of took a little bit. I don't know if I still have the taste of the... Because earlier I tried the Dea Alfredo, and I Ugh. feel like I still have that taste in my mouth. Horrible BT dub. Yeah. No offense. <laughs> and on this side, Mina, you can explain. Uh, on this side, these rolls right here, they're... Um, just like the normal cucumber and avocado rolls, and then what are these called? M M Mika? These have like a different name. They're like rolls as well, but they're just like a different style. They There's have the no rice on the outside. Yeah, there's seaweed on the inside. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> there is rice on the inside, and they're just avocado and cucumber. <laughs> yeah, half of them are cucumber and half of them are avocado, because, you know, we these like to keep really it. These are my really big chopsticks. I don't know if you're going to be able to. Did you bring the other ones just yeah. in case? Yeah, I did. Yeah, and to drink, we just have a LaCroix and... We're going to we're gonna share it, probably. Yeah. We'll probably need more. So... Oh my god, I almost, like, ripped my hand off. Alright, what are you going to start with? I want to start with... I'm starving. I'm going to start with the sushi. Literally I'm gonna dip so it in this. Starving. I don't know what sauce this is. Hopefully it doesn't have peanuts, because then I'm dead. I love ginger. <laughs> mm. I think I'm going to need a water. My own. I'm going to get a ginger ale. Alright, I just like went to get ginger ale, because ginger ale... I always have stomach problems, and I need something to... Um, Fizz you down. Fizz you down, and we got the mother-in-law kimchi. If you like kimchi, this is a vegan kimchi brand. Mm. Mommy Tang, if you guys know her, she used to do mukbang. Uh, would really promote that. And it's actually good. It's a lot more sour than a typical kimchi. Yeah, it's bomb. But I, like I like it better than regular kimchi. Obviously, I mean, I'm vegan, but. Ah. Oh. Okay, guys, I got my wisdom teeth taken out, so I'm going to kind of have issues eating. Yeah, she's going to be a little slow. So sorry if that bugs everyone. Did you try the noodles? No, I haven't. Okay. I was waiting. Uh, let's see if these are spicy. Okay. They have like both. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They they're have spicy. A they're like a lot pastier because they're not like slurpy. I put a little bit of flour in them because they were wet. Really? Uh. Yeah. Those are spicy, but I'm gravitated towards these. They're bomb though, huh? Yeah. Remind me not to eat the cabbage in the thing because I want to. Mm. But I the can't. texture. Okay, I'm having trouble picking these up. The texture of the noodles are like really chewy. They're bomb. Okay, guys, every time I come on camera, I get nervous to use chopsticks and like I think too much about using chopsticks and then. I'm bad at it. I don't use chopsticks the right way, but it works, right? Mm-hmm. So should we get into the store? Yeah, so we each have... I have, like, four-ish story, but the last two are, like, short. Well, they're all kind of short, so I guess I've just dealt with a lot of fuck boys. <laughs> yeah. So, Sasha, you can go first. Or do you want me to go first? I can go for it because mine started in like eighth grade. Okay. Starting young. Starting, Starting young. young, getting screwed over. So I was in eighth grade and I went to a Christian school, so I didn't really, um, I didn't really like, you know, boys weren't the center of attention there. But, you know, the people that did start dating just started dating people within the high um, middle school. 
I mean, I was in eighth grade, mind Everybody you. Everybody dated each other. Yeah, literally, right? <laughs> but me. Oh, God. I didn't date anyone from that high school. Middle school. Middle school, whatever. It was a middle and high school, so that's why I say that. Um, so I started talking to this kid from a public school, and we, like, started communicating through ice skating, because that was a cool thing to do, and, um, Facebook, because, you know, lit. Oh my gosh, I hate Or was it MySpace? Did I, did you say that? No, it's definitely oh. Facebook. Oh, okay. Because I still I'm have old. the, I still have the messages on my Facebook. And then we start talking for three months, and he starts throwing out the I love you turn. He's like, I want to be your first love, and I'm just like, boy. I was like, I don't, like, What? And he was just like, you know, scary. he was the ultimate fuckboy. He was like the type of boy that he was um, darker. He was like, I think he was Hispanic. He was Mexican, I think. Yeah, for sure Mexican. And he had long hair and he would straighten it every day and wear a beanie and like do his like. He was like an emo scene boy. Yeah, yeah, he was. And, you know, he told me he liked me and like we were all together for three months and then we break up for a month. And then he begs to have me back, and I'm just like, boy, okay, I'll give you a chance. And then we get back together, and then I'm a hardcore lurker. I was FBI agent, like, from day one. I think Mina taught me how to... I used to hack my boyfriend's Facebooks, MySpaces, emails. <laughs> emails? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, my friend would hack her boyfriend's emails, too. And I was just like, what's in the emails? She's like, he sends me. Everything. Yeah. You know, emails, the emails are the gold mine. If you have someone's email, you have everything. But whatever. And then I start lurking, and I see that he commented on this. This girl, like, comments on his wall a lot, and then he comments on hers. And then I see a comment on one of her pictures, and it's a giant paragraph from him. He's like, I love you, my girlfriend, happy, whoa, whoa, whoa. They had been together for, like, a year. He's like, you're the only girl I could ever love. And I was just like, the only girl? And then, you know. I'm I, the only girl? <laughs> yeah. And I was the other woman. Yeah, oh, my gosh, that's the only time that I was, like, ever a side girl. Side hoe probs. Yeah, whatever. No, not whatever. I broke up with him, and then we oh. never talked again. He tried talking to me my senior year. He's like, I'm so sorry for what happened. Let me put all the skeletons in the closet. And I was just like, honey, you ain't cute anymore. Move on. Because uh -huh. I glowed up, and he kind of, like, glowed down. Life. Mm-hmm. But that's my first book, for sure. I have a story similar. Yeah. Oh, I know. yeah. Well, I never told the girl because I'm not that girl. So, back, way back. Way back when. Way back when. In high school. For some reason, a lot of girls from the rivalry high school that. The rivalry high school. That's it, that's right. Okay, the rivalry in high school <laughs> You're like, didn't, add more? Yeah, didn't like me. They like... No, our school like had really bad beef with the opposing school. Yeah, it was we just were, like a weird, like... Our colors were red, they were blue, you know, we hated each other. I had like, had a thing with this guy, and then there was a girl group from the rivalry high school, and one of her, one of the girls that was in the group used to date him like in 8th grade. We're in, like, freaking sophomore year by this time. Like, you know, you would think, like, get over it, but no. So, she, like, really hated me. She would do anything to, like, try to embarrass me on Twitter, in public. If we were, like, to go to basketball games, football games, she always had something to say to me. Blah, 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 so on. So, whatever. Junior year rolls around. And this group of girls, like, they... They like pretty so much. they were your bullies first. Yeah. So they wow. apologized to me, and they're like, "Okay, like let's be friends." Blah blah blah. So I'm like, you know, like I'm not the kind of person who like is like, "Oh no, I'm not gonna be your friend." So like I started hanging out with them, thinking that you know, they were gonna be cool and whatnot. So <clears throat> I become like pretty close friends with these girls. Like we hang out like every day. Like mm -hmm. we, they come to my house all the time. Like we go like and do shit like all the time. Well, I didn't like them. They were, like, my close friends. The girl that's involved in this it wasn't, like, my best friend, but 
her best friend was my best friend too. Like it's like Mina adopted this friend group. Yeah, like I like they were already a friend group and they were yeah. all like best friends. So Mina was like, mm-hmm. well, I was kind of the outsider, but whatever. I never mind it. But so this guy that we're all mutually friends with and is best friends with my best friend at the time. Which is, which is a guy. He's pretty cute, you know. He, like, starts hitting me up, like. He starts pursuing me. And I, like, go with it. I'm like, oh, this guy's cool. Like, he's really nice. Like, this guy was is literally, like, a condescending, manipulative... <laughs> Okay. Psychopath. Like, crazy. Oh, yeah. So, I'm like, oh, like, yeah, I really like him. So, I, I tell my friend group, I'm like, oh, like, I really like this guy. Like, he's cool. Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, I really like this guy. This was, like, one of the first guys I've, like, ever liked in my life. Like, I was like, boys, Yeah, you did. You yeah, really did like him. Boys never, like, I never cared about guys. Like, ever. Like, mm. me? Mm. Mm. Kind so, of, for me, it was, like, not, like, I, this is, like, me being, like, 16 or 17 and, like, first liking a guy. So, it was, like, pretty special for me. So, I was, like, I really like him. I think he's really cool. Uh, we've been hanging out more often. And then they started, like, kind of being weird about it. They would literally ask me a lot of intimate questions about us. Like, everything. Just, like, like questions. Just, like, weird questions that like they would ask me. So then I started, like, kind of being, like, a little suspicious about it. And we would always, all of us, so it was us three, me and two other girls. And then it was my best friend, the guy that I liked, and another guy. So it was three and three, pretty much. And we would always have sleepovers. And, you know... They would always sleep at our house, usually. Yeah, but no, we would sleep over at my guy best friend's oh, house. Oh, okay. We would cool. tell my mom that we were going to sleep at whoever's house one, one of the girls but we would sleep over at you know and we would all do that we'd all tell like our parents that we were sleeping at each, each other's, other's house, house. Mm -hmm. so now that i literally never realized this noticed this caught on signs of anything until like after i found out and then i was like it clicked so we would always have sleepovers like us three girls and um, those three guys, <clears throat> and then, like, I would notice that sometimes we would, like, drink and, like, do stupid shit, so I noticed that sometimes, like, when we would get drunk, the guy that I liked and one of my good friends would, like, go into the bathroom, like, randomly, like, or they would, like, disappear, like, randomly, like, so I was just, like, I never really thought anything of it, because I was just, like, people aren't that, like, you oh, know, hell no. yeah, so then like they would do like weird sketchy things and I always noticed that like when we would go to sleep like he would be sleeping like pretty much in between us mm -hmm. so then later I find out that while we were both at the same sleepover constantly like for weeks on for like months he was literally in the middle of the night he would like turn around and like make out with me and then like later on when I would fall asleep he would like turn around and like make out with her and he would just like go back and forth making out with us <laughs> in her sleepover. <laughs> what? She knew about it. I didn't know. You know, like, what the hell? Like, I wouldn't, like, do that if I knew. So then, like, after that, like, I find so out... So she was in on him. Yeah, she, they were all... Everybody knew except me. What a skanky... Like, that's how fuck... That's how messed up it was. I was just like, wow. Like, that's like... I felt, like, so stupid because I was like... What? Like, I was just, like, mind-blown. I didn't even, like, know how to react. But then, once I, like, put all the pieces together, like, I understood. And then, they, like, ended up, like, after high school, like, they ended up um, dating. He, like, m like compulsively cheated on her. Like, obviously, he's a dick. Like, and, yeah. So, that's one of my fuckboy true stories. True love. That, that's a true, like, crazy. Like, well, how'd you find out? My best guy friend told me. Wow. My best friend, he, like, I think he, because I was, like, pretty sad about it, like, afterwards, because I didn't, like, really know, like, what had happened or, like, whatever. So <laughs> then, 
he like straight up told me and I was just like he's like don't be sad because yeah. this this and this yeah he like pretty much was just like like you shouldn't be that sad like and I was like damn I was like <laughs> I was literally just like mind blown and I haven't like talked to them ever again like after that and like one of the other ones like <laughs> the other one stole literally okay so I bought had bought in like a bunch we of new clothes we should save that for something else oh, okay yeah whatever right. bitch that's all I gotta say but anyways yeah go mm. What if, like what's wrong with people like Maki. Who... That's what it's called. Oh. I don't get it. What group of friends would like purposely adopt you just to like mm -hmm. ruin your life? Mm. Them raunchy bitches. I don't know. Really. But like at the time, like your life was ruined. No. No, you weren't like no. hurt. No. I was just like I was like once I like found that out, I was just like I was like, there's, like, something, like, mentally wrong with these people. So I was just like, wow, it's, like, really weird. Like, I just was more weirded out than, like, mad or sad. I was just like, wow, like. Okay. Okay. In my, okay, I found, like, four fuckboys. And one of them wasn't really a fuckboy, and the last one really isn't a fuckboy. But this fuckboy was a fuckboy fuckboy. Wow, we're gonna have to. Wait, is it, which fuckboy is it? And that one. Oh. Okay. So my freshman year, transitioning from I a hate that sock. you hate it, mm -hmm. transitioning from a middle school to a uh, high school, I like don't really have a lot of friends because all the kids that went to middle school like just like stayed at that uh, private, private middle school. school and like went on. And I had thankfully convinced one of my best friends, Alize, to go to Palm Springs High School. Where was she gonna go? She was going to go to CC. Oh, shit. Yeah, like, she was, like, signed to go there. Then I was like, no, go to Bombs Rings. And she went. And then um, me and this guy start talking. He's on the baseball team. I go to his games, cheer him on. We talking. We hang out. And he essentially kind of becomes my first, like, real kiss. Like, he pecks me after a football game. And I was just like... Sis, don't get all weird. I need a ginger ale. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, um, we start talking, and then we don't really plan to go to homecoming together, but I walk... Oh, wait, sorry, can I interrupt you? Yeah, yeah. What do you guys think about our new setting, though? I, like, honestly, I'm just admiring it in the camera right now, and I think it looks really good. You are? I yeah. hate this. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. You can move it, but, okay, keep going. Sorry. Okay. Whatever. We don't plan to go to homecoming or anything, so I go with my two girlfriends that were... Whatever. I go to, with my two girlfriends, and we walk into the dance. As we walk into the dance, we've already checked in, gone through security. I see him and his two other friends sitting on the bench, and I'm just like... What Nancy are you seeing you here. Yeah, asshole. like, literally. Yeah, like... <laughs> no, but he's like, oh, blah, blah, I surprise you. And then... We're like, okay, whatever, and we walk in together. Ooh, I'm in the whole thing. You are? Sorry, it, the, these are like hard to eat. Which ones? The, these. Go eat those then. Yeah, I am, but I just, yeah, should I eat in between? Let me get a bite. Oh, fuck. Dude, I'm full. I always, I've been eating like super fast on camera because I get. Whatever, we walk in together and we dance a couple songs and we hang out and then. Oh, no. We stop dancing, and he starts dancing with other girls, and I'm just like, um, I, I don't understand, like, I thought we were talking, like, why are you dancing with other girls? And then I just go off and cry, and then I had to pull myself together, because my friend and her boyfriend were breaking up at the party, I mean, dance. Ooh. The only friends that I had that was in a relationship. I went with, um, my, my preschool friends. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I went with these girls that I had gone to preschool with. So we had all went, and then, yeah, whatever. I thought that was the end of my horrible night. No. Mina calls me up. She's like, I'm picking you guys up. We're going to party. And then she's like, but your friends can't go. <sighs> and then I was like, ah. I was like, they have to come. They're spending the night or something. And then she's like, okay, let me call you back. She gets us into the party. We get to the party. I notice that, like, you know, he's not at the dance or anything. I get to the party. Guess who's at the party? him he's there and he's pressed up against the wall with some random blonde girl 
and they're making out. And I'm just like, well, I'm nothing. <laughs> and I didn't even, like, drink or smoke or anything at the time, so I just sat Oh, there. my God. And at this party, one of her skank little friends. <laughs> Literally, like, the first person I ever, like, loved other than my family, other than, like, my friends. He was there, and one of her little skank friends, like, tried to, like, make out with him. And I was just like, I freaking took you to this party, little bitch, and... You do me dirty like that? Yeah, I was just like... Did you cut her out? No. I was just like... Yeah, that party was bad. Another girl got kicked out because she was all drunk on the couch, you know, relationships got ruined... Let's just say after that, we never talked again. But his best friend did try pursuing me, and then his girlfriend, oh, this is kind of like karma. His best friend like was like, oh, if I, he wasn't with you and I wasn't with my girlfriend, I would be with you. And I think his girlfriend like had seen that text, and she was like, no, you can't be friends with her, or we're over. And he was like, all right, we can't be friends. So this brings me to my third story. I should just quickly say this one. So, my first love of my life was, like, getting suspicious. We were still talking at that at this stage, and people were telling me that he was, like, hanging out with this other girl. She had gone to my school. She was, um, she was the girlfriend of the other guy's best friend that, like, you know, made him stop talking to me. She was, like, his girlfriend, but they were not together anymore. They were on a break. So, she starts pursuing my man. And that's the rumor around, but I'm like, nah, my man's with me. He's my man. Like, what? So I, I invite him over to meet my family, and we have dinner, and he's, like, sweaty mauled, but he passes the test, and he meets my family. And then the next day, I'm just like, hmm, this is still sus. I need to know that he's with me. So I start lurking Twitter. I start lurking Twitter. And I find a picture of them on her profile of them hiking and holding hands. And I'm just like... People have no morals. Like, do you just, like, talk to as many people as you want and then pick and choose which one's, like, the best? Like, I understand, like, dating, but don't make someone feel like you're with them and, like, you know, lead them on to think, like, you know, it's monogamous when you're, like... Still testing the waters. Still humping through life. <laughs> we were sophomores. We weren't humping. Ooh. Not if you were humping, that's okay. But we personally just weren't humping. But whatever. I ended up taking him back, and now he's dating that girl that he cheated on me with. It's all cycles. But I ended up dating the guy that I kind of unintentionally cheated on him with but yeah, we just this is like fatal attractions like yeah we just like i don't know he was a cool person <gasps> my but beater numb do you always i said crisscross applesauce oh my god that's such a good idea why didn't i think of that oh it's because then i look small but i kind of sit on my foot yeah okay i'm actually taller than her so this is gonna be weird barely yeah, I'm 5'2", and she's 5'3". Okay. Yeah. Jeez. I don't know. I just have so many fuckboy stories to tell you. But, um... I hope you can't hear the music in the background. I don't want to get copyrighted. Okay. Alright. So, this is, uh, recently. Not really recently. This is probably, like, seven months ago. The so, fuckboy of her life. The fuckboy of my life. <laughs> the fuck boy of my dreams. The fuck boy of my. Fuck my boy. heart. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, um, so okay, so me and this man, boy, whatever, man, boy, boy, we, boy, boy, man. Yeah, boy, man. Yeah, boy, man. We decide that we're gonna hang out. I would always like go out with my friends first, and then like later in the night, cause you know I was just a late night hoe. I would go and hang out with him. So this time, I thought it was going to be different because he actually was like, oh, let's like actually like hang out. During the day. No, it wasn't during the day. It was at night. Mm -hmm. And then, um, 
and I was like, oh yeah, cool, sure, like, let me Uber there, so like, on my way, I got in the Uber, I go, and then while I'm on my way to his house, he texts me and says, how long are you going to be here, I, I, how long until you get here, I'm trying to dip, <laughs> I'm like, what, I'm just like, excuse me, I was like, um, I'm already in the Uber on my way to your house, probably like 10 minutes, and he was like, hurry up, like, just being, like, really rude about it, like, was, like, making me feel like he didn't want to hang out with me anymore, pretty much. So I get to his house, and I'm, like, walking into, what, this? Mm -hmm. I'm walking to the door of his house, and then the lights of his car turn on that are, is in the driveway, and I'm just like, what the hell? And then he, like, rolls down his window, he's like, I'm going to my friend's house, he's like, you can come if you want, but I don't think you would want to. Just spent fourteen dollars to Uber to his house. Think of that, and I was just like, um, "No, I'm gonna go." So just like me being annoying, like I was like, "No, I'm gonna go." So we go. Oh, we, you're gonna go with him? Yeah. So yeah. So I went with him. Oh, I thought you meant you're gonna go home. No, no, I went with him. So then I went with him, and then he was just like, "Oh, like you know, just like he didn't. He actually didn't talk to me on. So we went to go and meet his friends in like the parking lot of a grocery store." <laughs> cool right <laughs> um i'm gonna get hang out with my friend <laughs> yeah so then we meet his friends in the gro the parking lot of this uh, grocery store all people that i know so they're all like oh my gosh are you guys together like it's super awkward because like you know i can tell that like he hates me right now because i'm there and like i'm just there like uh, like you know can't really go home so i'm just like oh no we're just friends like blah 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 so we go to like some lame ass party and then afterwards they're they them two they're all like talking like i'm like kind of the outsider as well like i literally bought my own like little thing of tequila and like ha was drinking it by myself like along like the party and just like whatever it's like yeah like pretty much i was just like <sighs> every time you look at him you're just like <laughs> yeah and then and then so and then we show up to this hotel this uh a pretty known hotel in my hometown and it's 21 and over to get to get in I'm freaking 19 years old at the time, so, like, obviously, like, he knows that, like, he still, like, took me there, and I had to, like, sneak my way through, like, I had to, like, go in, like, with a whole, like, amount of people, and then afterwards, I sit down, and some, a security guard comes up to me and asks me for my ID, and I'm, like, I just, like, pretend that I lost my wallet, they let me stay, blah, 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 and then the whole time that we're at the hotel, because it's, like, there's inside, there's a bar, and then, like, outside, there's, like, ping pong there's a bunch of like stuff he like doesn't talk to me the entire night so i go like inside to the bar and i just like dance and i'm just like you know talking to people so on and so on and one of the people who was in the group of um the group that we were in like starts kind of like hitting on me he's like you know like oh like trying to like you know thinking that he's gonna be my man for the night <sighs> so daddy, so then daddy. i can tell that he's kind of getting jealous like he's like like, what the hell? Like, he's just, like, looking at me, like, you know, giving me dirty looks, and I'm like, what the hell? Like, why do you care? Like, you don't even like me. <laughs> um, so then, I, at the end of the night, we still have to go home together, because I don't know, actually, why we had to go home together. I, that's just, like, what happened. So we go to his house, and then, like, we're just, like, watching TV, and um, the guy who was in the group that was, like, pursuing me texts me. No, text him. He texted him. He texted him, and was like, hey, can I have Mina's number? And he got so mad at me. He's like, "You, I can't believe you like disrespected me like that. You blah blah blah. Like you embarrassed me." And I was like, "And mind this, the whole time he was literally like go, like he was literally like t saying how hot like a bunch of these like stupid girls were. Like the, he was like literally like, yeah, that girl's hot. Like you'd be like, Ugh, that girl's hot, and I'd just be like, she <laughs> like, is. <laughs> yeah, I'd just be like, what? So, yeah, that's." I have a lot of fuckboy stories about him, about him in specific, but yeah, that's like one of the, one of the ones that was definitely, but he was always an asshole, like, the first time that Always we, has been. Always is. The first time I met him. Also, he always pursued me. I don't even know who he was. I don't know how but, you... Until one day he him. followed me on Instagram, and I was like, weird. And so the first time that we met, I went over to his house. Yeah, kind of stupid, I know. 
like the first time we hung out just us two i should say i, went I to don't like house. hanging out with guys for the first time at their house i'm just like can we do something like more public because mm-hmm. i don't want them to get that impression of mm-hmm. me that you know like we're gonna just be all cozy together then afterwards and where's like the fun in the rendezvous you know? yeah so i go to his house and we're like smoking in his backyard He's actually being, like, pretty nice to me, like, the, obviously the first time, like, we're hanging out, and he's, like, being pretty nice to me, oh, and I'm just, sorry. and then he, like, gives me a kiss, and then he's, like, so, like, in literally the nicest voice, he's, like, so, are we gonna fuck? <laughs> <laughs> my I'm mouth, romantic. my mouth literally drops, I'm just, like. I was like, um, no. <laughs> and he's like, why? He's like, do you think that's going to make me like you more if you just keep, uh, if you don't put out on the first time that we meet or something like that? And I was just like, I was like, I would never have sex with someone I don't know. And then he was like, he just like got kind of like, he was mad and then he got mad. And then we went inside his house and like, it was so awkward. We didn't speak at all. He actually like left his room and like he has like he, he threw ha- like a little fit. He had a room like where he had like his um, his uh what is it called? Game console. Yeah, like whatever video game shit. Mm-hmm. So he just like I was like sitting there and he like randomly just like left the room, and then ten minutes had gone by and I was like where the heck is he like what? So then I go and like walk out and like the door is kind of open and he's like sitting there playing video games. I hate that. Like, do you expect me to yeah, just follow you? Yeah, and then I, like, came, and then I was just like, um, all right, I'm gonna leave then. And he was just like, and he was just like, I was like, what the fuck? I was literally like, like, I've literally never been treated like that in my life by a guy. I was just like, I was so in shock. I was just like, wow, I was like, you're, like, rude as hell. And it was so weird because... When we would hang out, he literally wouldn't talk. Like, I would be the one, like... And I'm, like, awkward, too, so, like... It's not like I'm, like, a great conversator, and I was just, like, like... You are a great conversator. Blowing up his ear. No. Not with people I don't know. With people I know, yeah. Yeah. With people I don't know, I'm literally, like... (laughs) Like a mute fish. But anyways, so... He made you nervous. So, literally, for, like months after that when we would hang out we literally just wouldn't speak we would literally hang out in silence but we would continue to hang out like over and over and over and over again it was a really weird sick sick twisted thing (laughs) sick twisted thing oh my foot yeah it was just really strange and we would just like yeah we're both dealing with fuck boys right now my fuck boy didn't invite me to his fourth of july party like, I showed up to his house, and he just, like, was like, I don't want you here. <laughs> I was like, what? He's it's like, true. I don't want you here. And I got out of the car, because, like, you know, me and him are homies, you know? Yeah, like, we're all a friend group, and I just ended up talking to one of the people in the friend group. Yeah, so... I usually never do that. Like, I hate having... I hate associating my men with my friend group. So then I, like, walked out of the car on the 4th of July, and he's like, no! 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 Like I was just like, because <laughs> like you know, earlier I, I started go. cracking up. Like I just I don't think I even said anything. I think I just started laughing and I turned around and like went back into the car because it was just like crazy. Because there was these girls there that want to kick our ass. I don't even know. Mina called. Well, yeah, Let's they not. hate me, but Mina be over here trying. Mina just gets drunk and get, wants to fight. Yeah, when you get real drunk, you go through the stages, you want to fight. Does anyone else do that? No, I mean, I'm most people, go- Sophie's a happy, happy no. drunk. No, 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 no. was getting drunk, and then it was getting, like, blacked out. But it's going through the stages for us. Yeah, and then that's when you go through, like, all the, the emotions. Happy, excited. Sad. Pondering. Angry. Sad. Pondering. You don't yeah. ponder when you're drunk. You're just like. <laughs> <laughs> I ponder. And then. And then mad. Super mad. Super mad. Super mad. Like mad where you like you can't control yourself. Like. Yeah. I just like. I don't really get mad often, but when I get mad, I get really mad. Like there's like no. I get really mad. 
weird. Oh, you can get followers on music? I, music? I didn't know. I just got a follower. My friend, he goes by the last name of Bravo. Just follow him. But yeah, my fuck boy just fucks me over. Constantly. He like broke up with me for a week because I called him annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. My fuck boy yesterday, I told him that if he was going to do whatever he wants, and I can do whatever he wants. And he said, you're dumb. See you never. <laughs> I was just like, I don't even know how to react to these things anymore. No, honestly, like, I went, when I got that, I started laughing in my bed. Like, I was literally like, ha, ah. like, I was like laughing so hard because I thought it was so funny. All my fuck boy ever replies is, LMFAO, shut up. Yeah, I'm like... <laughs> Like, what are you saying? <laughs> I didn't do anything. But I need to find me a new man. A new man makes me feel so good. I love my man. I get Not like I love my, my man, but like. I need a man to make me happy. Oh, that was on my wrist the whole time and it was hitting me. My fuck boy is like my actual boy, so like, you know. Oh yeah, now they tied the knot. They're official. They didn't get married. Yeah, we did. Look. <laughs> <laughs> no, my fuck boy hates me and likes. He, I don't know. He just hates me. I just likes to ignore me all day and post on Snapchat about marijuana. <laughs> <sighs> my man loves cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> cocaine for breakfast. Yikes! My mouth hurts. Like. I thought I was going to be able you to eat, just eat the avocado ones. I I've know. been doing that, but, like, they even hurt to, like, because, like, you see, like, <laughs> it's hard to fit. I can't eat all lady. Like, my foot's completely numb. So is that the end? I guess that's the fuck boys we had at the top of our head. We're still in the midst of dealing with Still in the with process. Them. I have a lot more stories, but From this just... one guy. <laughs> But they're just like, I just don't want to make them look bad. Ow, my People foot's change. like numb. Um, like completely like, like numb. I can't really see myself on like that side, so I don't know how it looks. Okay, yeah, good. well, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't, I, I'm definitely going to finish this off camera. It's just like, I have to like open my mouth. You see really way. slow. So it just hurts me. And I hope to be posting more. Yeah, we're gonna be try we're gonna try to post more consistently. It just sucks because like Sasha can eat whatever and like I get fat by eating air, so <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's why we kind of have to chill on what we eat. But um Ooh, should we do Subway, Chipotle, or you don't wanna do down? No, I'm down for Domino's. Okay, should we do Subway, Chipotle, or Domino's next? Or we're also, like, interested in doing, like, a get ready with me, but, like, a get ready with me and then go review a restaurant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? So let us know what you want to see from us or... If you want to check out our other social media, it'll be in the description box below. And like and subscribe wait subscribe <laughs> subscribe subscribe please peace out from the girl scout mean a rap humbler <laughs> <laughs> okay bye See?